all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel soul tribe it's me tony your resident tarot specialist we're going to get into your love messages to see what's currently surrounding you in regards to love romance and the matters of the heart hopefully you guys are doing well and this reading reaches you in good spirit right all the messages may not resonate so check your zodiac placements all right this is going to be a message for libra Come into the video, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel so that we continue to grow, add value, and remember, there is a Libra playlist on the channel. Right. So let's get into the highest messages of love and light, please, and thank you, spirit team. What does the Libra Air Sign Collective need to know today in regards to love and romance? We got jumpers, queen of cups. Let's get one more shuffle before we start your reading. At the bottom of the deck is strength. All right, so we currently have strength and beauty surrounding you at this time. We're even getting longevity. All right. It's Leo Major Arcana, so you can be dealing with a very brave person, a, Lib um, a Libra, yeah, a leader. They could appear strong physically or be uh, have a lot of internal strength. So it's the Four of Pentacles, right? Holding back emotionally, possibly, or romantically. Or just playing their cards close to the chest. In regards to finances, this would be saving, right? Or being cheap or miserly. But I think this person has a lot of emotions for you. They're coming off as the Queen of Cups, right? It's Cancer. One of the most emotional zodiac signs. And the Queen of Cups is, is pretty much um, one of the most emotional um, characters in the high uh, court cards, right? Emotionally stable. Emotionally uh, secure. Right, emotionally intelligent it could be a clairvoyant. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person's hiding uh, deep feelings they have for you. Mhm. Mm the Sun card. Yeah, they see you as wish fulfillment here. The Sun card. They see you as um, someone that brings them a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. Mhm. Mm you satiate their desires here. This person could view you as the Sun. But again, that strong Leo energy. I'm not sure if you have strong Leo placements or this person has Leo placements. I can usually kind of, as a well-rounded alchemist, right? Um, I have all the elements as my big three or my big four. Um, yeah, this person may be... Let me get the last card. The devil card. Capricorn energy. An earthbound celebrity, someone very talented, a hard worker. They could possibly be obsessive as well. So yeah, this person is, is coveting your energy. They're, uh, they're yeah, I, I'm going to say it, they're pretty much obsessed with you here. Or they're super attracted to you. Mm -hmm. Romantically and sexually here. They may want to have a child with you. The three of wands. Yeah, they want to meet you halfway. They're waiting on their ships to come in. I guess they're waiting on the right time or something like that to come towards you. The Seven of Pentacles. Gardening card, the Queen of Cups. This person may be a gardener, literally. <laughs> There's something I wanted to mention before, but I forgot it'll come back to me. The Four of Swords. A pause. Resting or uh, recovery here. Or meditation comes out on top of the seven of swords so this person likes linking up with you this is crazy because the sun here is here but this person hmm this reminded me of an experience I had before in the past though well this is a very weird uh, message Libra I can barely read the energy Yeah, I think this person, either they're in some sort of a timeout or some sort of a pause here. Because I'm seeing sneaky behavior here with the Seven of Swords, but this could be some sort of a strategy to get you in bed here. The Ace of Pentacles on top of the Sun card, a new commitment. Or the planting of that seed. Yeah, they want to have a child with you. I'm not sure if you know this person wants to have a child with you. I don't know if this person's trying to be slick and get you pregnant or something like that. Or the other way around, Ace of Wands. This chick is trying to be slick and get pregnant from you. Here's the sex here. The Ace of Wands, the male phallic card with the devil, which is sexual attra attraction and obsession. 
Yeah, this person definitely wants to get in your pants here. Hmm, I'm gonna use another deck. Yeah, I have to use another deck here. Mm. Yeah, very strange energy. Hold on a second. See, this is annoying. I should have had my decks out already. Major Arcana, the Devil, the Sun. And the strength. Yeah, so they have a very strong, passionate drive towards you. But the Seven of Swords is here at the middle of the spread with the Four of Swords, which is 11. <laughs> it seems like this person wants to have some sort of a sneaky um, or like private um, session with you here. Whatever that session is. I don't know if this is like... Um, this reminds me of like um, a geisha. Male gigolo, probably. Yeah, very strange energy. I mean, this person could possibly be fantasizing about you sexually here. It, it doesn't really have to be anything negative, like you're dealing with a whore or like a male, like. <laughs> male stripper or like a geisha i think this is how this person is fantasizing about you they may be into cosplay let's get some additional messages here from the wiser tarot four cups at the bottom of the deck Really quickly, let's clarify the Three of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, I'm getting a harem as well. Okay. I don't know, maybe someone needs to go on like a vacation or something like that. I don't really see a whole lot of movement other than the three of swords. I'm oh, sorry, the three of wands. But there's a lot being invested here. Almost like someone is paying for something. The four of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, but they're trying to get like the best bang for their buck. Ace of pentacles. This could be like a foreigner or something like that. Possibly a foreigner wants to connect with you. This could be like an anchor baby or something like that that they want to have with you. Or, hmm, karmic contracted devil. They could possibly want a marriage with you, the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. I'm not really, we're not really sensing anything negative. Yeah, they have a sort of a sexual um, inclination towards you. The Page of Cups. They have a crush on you. This could be a younger person, younger than you. This person could be very intuitive as well. Six, yeah, equal give and take. Yeah, they want to um, share with you here. They want to dedicate themselves to you, possibly. Yeah, this is what it's giving. It's giving like, um, like if you do something for someone, like make them into a citizen or something like that they owe you the ace of pentacles in the sun card the tower card which is destruction right it's it's transformation though it could be some sort of a mental or spiritual download but it's um it, it seems like um you know typically the tower brings destruction or something and then it's an opportunity to rebuild anew the Ace of Wands and the Devil card. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is physical displacement. So the best example that I'm giving is like um, someone dates a foreigner and that foreigner wants to come over to that person's uh, country. 
and um yeah and then once that happens like the foreigner becomes like like the maid like the housemaid or like the sexual um i don't know <laughs> it's weird but there's marriage here there's happiness here there's a family here that's like yeah that's what i'm getting i'm getting like two foreigners coming together making it happen right it's not that you know one person's like sacrificing or doing something um for the other person and the other person's not doing anything it's like an equal give and take here with the it's just it's coming off weird right there's a uh, sexual I, what i keep wanting to say this word but i keep dropping it there's a knight of wands here in the page of wands so again they're uh, romantically attracted to you crushing on you and then there's sex they see sexual chemistry with you here they want to come in and dominate you here with the ace of wands and the <laughs> the devil card but then again this is also a karmic contract when it comes to love here they want to marry you they want a new commitment mm -hmm. now this person is very caring they're just deeply attracted to you. Yeah, they're investing. They're putting all their eggs in one basket is what I'm getting here with the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords is indicative of the healing, right? You may be some sort of a healer or this person may be some sort of a healer, nurse, doctor, doula, right? Again, a housemaid or something like that. The Sun card. A lot of happiness and joy, mm -hmm. playfulness, games. But yeah. I think you guys are gonna there's if you're not careful, there's definitely an opportunity for a child to be made here. Mm -hmm. With the sun card and the ace of wands. But that's what I have for you guys today. Very interesting reading Libra, right? Everyone wants to get their hands on a Libra. Um, like the video. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. It's a strategy here. It's not necessarily lies or deceit. I mean, it's just gonna be a whole bunch of paperwork or a whole bunch of red tape or red flags and stuff that people have to go through. But it's being strategic here. Yeah. Yep investing where you need to invest seven of pentacles and seven of swords so just be your you know be your usual strategic discerning self libra right you're all about making the right decisions sometimes you don't even have to right a libra's greatest asset is time right like the video subscribe to the channel 1212 just passed on the clock catch you on the next one peace